YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm here to do a reading for y'all. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all so much for the likes and subscribes thus far. And let's get into this video, y'all. Okay, so these are channel messages. I actually channeled these two days ago. But I'm going to read you guys what I picked up on while I was channeling. And I do have names and locations at the end, all right? Excuse me. But yeah, I want to try to um, simplify this reading a little bit. I feel like it's a really long reading. It's my third time trying to record it. I keep getting in, um, distracted, interrupted. So let's get into this video, y'all, okay? So what I put is, um, there's something that you guys are supposed to be speaking on, something that you guys are supposed to be posting here, okay? And I feel like some of y'all, y'all feel apprehensive to post this or a little nervous to speak on whatever this is. One reason is because you don't see anybody speaking on whatever this is. Like, it's something that you could have peeped a while ago or you could be peeping that, like I said, you look around and you notice nobody's speaking on it. It's because you're supposed to be the first one to speak on whatever this is. Um, and others of you guys, some of you guys are feeling apprehensive to post because of the people that are watching you here like some of y'all y'all got gang stalkers that are watching you they definitely want to stop you from posting whatever this is um but what y'all need to realize is that if these are gang stalkers trying to stop you from posting like you're stronger than them spiritually okay you're way stronger than these people and they're not going to be able to stop you but i just almost see like a, a somebody uploading something or wanting to upload something i see somebody talking into the camera um wanting to post something maybe even typing something something that is important or that will get people really going but it's like the truth whatever it is is really the truth but i see these other energies coming in like gang stalking you maybe trying to make you look crazy or i don't know it's just the energy of gang stalking you and shit talking maybe even gossip and this could be another reason why you're feeling apprehensive to post here okay so there's two reasons why you're feeling apprehensive to post the things that you feeling like you need to post one, you don't see nobody talking about that shit. Hold the fuck up. Am I just crazy? Am I the only one seeing this? Two, like I said, you, you're actually being gang stalked. And you can feel the every time you do post, you can feel them people watching you and hating on you, and it make you want to delete shit or not post in general. Uh, some of y'all y'all re-recording re all the time, but you never upload it. It's because of the gang stalkers. It's because you can feel them people that watch you and be like, "What the fuck is she talking about?" And uh, this and that or whatever it is here. Okay, so like I said, y'all need to go ahead and post what you are seeing or what you're feeling here because you're gonna be one of the first people to post whatever this is. I definitely feel like y'all are a trailblazer. It's kind of remind me back like 20 years ago I realized that I had social anxiety but I didn't have a word for social anxiety I just knew something was wrong with me so on Google like I had to Google what was wrong with me um because like I said there was no word to describe social anxiety so as I'm googling it and like I said about 20 years ago as I'm googling it I, like I said, I didn't type in social anxiety. I didn't even know what social anxiety was. I had to Google what exactly was wrong with me. I feel like I'm weird because, and I could find one fucking post. It was only one post about what was going on with me. Now you type anything about social anxiety, you're going to find thousands of posts here. But when I first was looking up, like, what is wrong with me? It was social anxiety and I found only one post. So I went to YouTube to see like, you know, YouTubers, they always are speaking on things 20 years ago there was nobody there was not one youtuber speaking about social anxiety i remember i recorded a video to talk about my social anxiety because i found that one article that was hard as hell to find but i noticed nobody was talking about it on youtube bro as i uploaded that shit it took hours to upload it was like whenever my wi-fi was just beyond slow it took hours to upload that shit and then right when it uploaded i got fucking scared and deleted it bruh i would have been one of the first people on youtube talking about social anxiety <laughs> it's kind of like that like some of y'all you're getting nervous because you don't see nobody talking about whatever this is or two you think that people are going to target you or talk bad about you if you upload whatever this is but i'm telling y'all some of y'all y'all meant to speak on whatever this is you're one of the only people noticing this or you're a trailblazer you're going to be one of the first people talking about whatever this is and it's going to get other people talking about it it's just going to branch off okay so like i said if you feel nervous to talk about something and you don't see people talking about it go ahead and do it you're going to be one of the first ones okay and like i said i see like the energy um it moves so if you yeah maybe i shouldn't do it it's gonna definitely move on to somebody else here okay um 
so yeah i put def people are definitely trying to stop you but they cannot stop you okay you're stronger than these people you're more powerful th than them literally like if these are the people who are watching you like mm, what's she talking about today oh she just this and that and you're stronger than them. They might be gang stalkers, but you're stronger than them, okay? I feel like some of y'all don't realize what you do to them, okay? They might watch you and be sending you the evil eye and want to do all that gossip, but all you got to do is say a prayer, or all you got to do is return to sender, and I I promise you, y'all don't know how y'all be fucking these people up, okay? So they might want to shut their asses up about y'all here, okay? Um. Now, like I said... I feel like some of y'all, you don't want to post. Like, you do. You you feel it. You feel passionate. Like, I feel like I want to speak on this. But the moments where you feel like you don't want to post or speak on whatever this is or maybe even talk about whatever this is, is because I put maybe some people would think that you're lying, delusional, um, or just crazy. Like I said, it's like whatever you're seeing that you know you need to speak on but nobody's talking about it, um, that's why some of y'all don't want to speak on it like you think some people would think that you're lying delusional or crazy or two these people who are gang stalkers that are watching you that every time you post they be the first one to watch you but they want to call you crazy or this or that that's why y'all don't like posting okay it's because there's somebody here that's trying to make it seem like you're lying or that you're oh she's just delusional like that crazy ass girl or like you don't know what you're talking about or that you just a crazy person here okay so um yeah, I just see y'all being real selective about who you have these conversations with or who you share this information uh, with because you don't want to, you don't want nobody to be like, girl, you just fucking crazy. Girl, you delusional as hell. Like, that shit ain't, you ain't got no fucking social anxiety. That shit don't even exist. Let's say that somebody said that to me 20 years ago when I looked it up. That shit don't even exist. 20 years later, goddamn, everybody got social anxiety. So, it's something like that where, like I said, either one, Somebody has tried to make you feel that way or two. You could just feel that energy of people like watching you and hating on you. Like, let's say you have spiritual knowledge that a lot of people don't really know, but you're like, nobody's talking about this. Maybe you're scared to upload it because you're like, or talk about it because you're like, you're, you're thinking that people are going to think you're delusional or crazy. Like, girl, you do not see fucking spirits, bitch. You're psycho like you're fucking lying but yeah it's that type of energy here so like i said i do see y'all being super selective about who you have these conversations with or who you share certain information with but i i feel like y'all should just go ahead and post it i will give y'all one form of advice don't post that shit to people from your hometown or people that know you in real life like don't post that shit to them because them gonna be the first people to gang stalk you them gonna be the first people to try to blackball you them gonna be the people that have you feeling like i don't know why i want to delete that video i just uploaded it. it's because they be hating so bad it's because they think they know you because y'all come from the same spot but they don't fucking know you okay um so yeah like i said that's probably why some of y'all are like apprehensive to post because one, you don't see people talking about it and you don't want people to be like, girl, ain't nobody even like that don't even make sense. Like nobody's even talking about that. You're delusional. It don't make sense. Or two, like I said, you feel the energy of those people that gang stalk you. Why are you watching somebody if you think they're delusional or crazy or anything like that here? Okay. Um, I also feel, I also put, it's really hard for people to separate you from your work. So some of you guys, you might do something. Like, let's say you're a doctor, but you're also very spiritual. And you want to post about something spiritual. It's hard for people to separate you from being that doctor. So it's like, let's say you're a doctor and they're like, what the fuck? Like, did you see what Dr. Kibble just wrote? Like, what the fuck? She got to be off her rocker. Like, what the hell? She talking about all this spiritual shit. Like, she know damn well it's kind of like that it's hard for people to separate you from your work like let's say you are a spiritualist and you are into spiritual things they feel like you're supposed to be doing that 24 7 you're not allowed to go out and have a drink you're not allowed to know worldly things you're not allowed to do certain shit in their mind okay uh, so, like I said, it's, like, hard for people to separate you from your work or something that you do, okay? So, sometimes some people are looking at your job or whatever it is that you do for work or whatever it is that you're well-known for. They look at that like that's just you. Like, if you play basketball w real well and you're known for playing basketball, but they see you out at a play and they're like, what the fuck? Like, what is that basketball player doing? Because you enjoy plays? Like, it's, like, it's hard for them to separate you from your work, like, 
but people don't realize like you're just a normal person people be forgetting you're normal you're just a regular human you don't have to sit here and if you're a tarot reader you don't have to sit here and read tarot all day long like you can go out and have drinks at the mexican restaurant if you re if you really want to if you're a preacher you don't have to sit there and preach all day long you can go out and have a fucking vacation if you want like i said let's say that i don't know like i said you're a doctor you're a nurse they think you are not allowed to be spiritual or that you ain't allowed to be, I don't know, a stripper behind the scenes. Whatever it is for you, it's going to be definitely different for everybody here, okay? Um, but yeah, it's hard for people to separate you from what you do here. Um, so I feel like some of y'all, y'all dealing with like personal things. Some of y'all, y'all trying to take care of your mental health. Maybe this is some of the things that you're speaking on. Um, some of y'all, it's something that you're doing where you're just taking care of yourself and people like forget like you're a normal individual way. I seen the pastor getting her nails done. I'm fucking confused. Girl, I have to have a mental health day too. Okay, something like that here, okay? Um, but I also put there are a lot of people who understand you as well. Um, and there will be people who understand your mental health um, there will be people who understand whatever it is that you're talking about. Some of y'all, y'all had to take a break from something. Okay. And then I feel like people tried to make it seem like you lost passion. Like, let's say you took a break from, I don't know, singing. And they're like, oh, she lost her passion for singing. Like, no, bitch, I took a break so I can get my voice right and my energy right. And so I can sing this song without taking one breath. Like, whatever it is, like, people, like, I feel like some of these people are, like, hoping that you lost passion for whatever this is. Uh, so some of y'all, maybe you were posting about something and then you stopped posting about something. Okay, you stopped speaking on something. And so some people feel like you lost passion, but now you just needed a break, a mental break, a mental health break, whatever this is for you. Like I said, people be forgetting that you're a normal individual, but I do feel like people put you on a pedestal. So whatever it is, however people are looking at you, they definitely got you on a pedestal. But I'm telling you, it's hard for them to look at you like, I just seen whoever at the club with the hell. I just seen them at home like chilling. Okay, whatever this is. Somebody, somebody, I can see somebody in full glam because you go to work in full, full glam and then you come home and you're in, you're in relaxed mode. Somebody's like, I've never fucking seen them in relaxed mode. Like, what the fuck? Vice versa. You'll be chilling all the time. You ain't relaxed mode. You just normal. You just chilling. You go out one day, you fine as fuck. It's like somebody, it's like people like, what the fuck? What are they? I've never seen them with clothes on. Like, they look so good. Like. It's really hard for people to separate you from what you do. Like, people only view you as whatever it is that you do, for real. Because you're really good at it, though. I do feel like you're really good at it. And if, like I said, you did take a break, I do feel like some people thought you lost passion for it. But that's not the case. You need your break here. Okay? Also put, whatever it is that you're doing, you get the crowd going like no other. Whatever it is that you're talking about, you're going to get the crowd going like no other. Even if you're the first one talking about it. Like I said, somebody here is scared to post because they know that nobody's talking about what they're talking about. Go ahead and post that shit anyway. You're going to be one of the first ones to talk about it. And nobody's going to get the crowd going like you. If this is something where you do see people talking about it, but they get negative reactions or they don't get support like that, shit. It's going to be a different story for you. Nobody's going to get the crowd going the way that you can get the crowd going, okay? Um, so I did ask for advice. And the advice I got is to debut whatever it is that you're doing. Whatever it is that you're doing where you're like, I really want to show people this. Or I really want to talk about this. Go ahead and debut it. Some of y'all, you're going to be the first one. Or some of y'all, y'all getting back on your shit. So you're going to be the first one to talk about something again. You're bringing some of y'all, y'all going to be single-handedly bringing something back. I'm here, I'm bringing sexy back. Ah, them motherfuckers don't know how to act. Something, you're bringing something back. And I feel like you're going to get the crowd going wild. Like, well, it's, you're the only one that can do this right here, right now, okay? So, some of y'all, y'all need to go ahead and debut whatever this is or debut this again. Some of y'all, y'all are trailblazers or you're going to make something. You're going to bring something up that people are not talking about anymore. But whatever this is, go ahead and debut it because I feel like you guys are about to get a bunch of orders. Some of you guys are about to have a bunch of orders to pack. If this is something that you're doing something, um, some of y'all, you're about to get a bunch of order requests. Like, maybe you don't necessarily 
sell whatever this is but it's almost like people are going to be requesting orders or requesting you to speak on something it's like people are putting in requests okay so go ahead and debut whatever this is and i also put just trust in the lord okay and always acknowledge god okay and i also put also just stay away from defensive people they already don't want to hear the actual truth or accept the actual truth uh so all they're gonna do is get ex uh, upset here okay so, like I said, if you feel like some of these people and some of y'all, y'all have posted or said things to defensive people. And that's why some of y'all feel apprehensive to post. Do not post to people that you feel like going to be offended by what you're saying. Like, like I said, go post wherever and then let them people find you. They're going to find you. But you're going to get the crowd going like no other. But don't directly sit there and post to people that you know going to be defensive when you're speaking the actual truth like whatever you're talking about speaking on typing up whatever it is it's the actual truth okay so all they're gonna do is get upset because these are people who i do feel like wanted to try to make you feel like you're crazy okay because i put some people i put some of y'all y'all really wouldn't want to have this conversation so some of y'all are very selective about who you have this conversation with or who you talk about these type of things with because i'm telling you some people will try to make it seem like you're lying some people will try to make it seem like you're delusional some people will try to make it seem like you're crazy so i do feel like y'all are very selective or super selective about who you bring this topic up to or who you have this conversation with okay but like i said if you feel like somebody's going to be extra defensive or defensive leave them behind because they're going to try to attack you regardless okay they're going to try to get upset regardless they're defensive already here okay and i feel like whatever truth you're saying it could definitely expose them or make them feel some type of way okay because i see somebody like why nobody ever talk about how narcissists do this this and that and then whatever you're saying like nobody does talk about whatever the fuck it is that you're seeing and then i think what it is is the people who are being defensive are either people who are dealing with narcissists but they don't want to see the truth or two they are the fucking narcissists okay and it's different for everybody like it doesn't have to be narcissists it could be spirituality you could be speaking on how like certain people are doing shit and then the people who are defensive are the people that are doing it of course they don't want to see the truth okay um like I said, you could literally be speaking on anything. Parents, teachers, churches, any fucking thing, okay? Just know that, like I said, if they're already defensive, they're just going to get upset. That's all it is. So that's the advice. Go ahead and debut whatever it is that you need to debut. Go ahead and talk about whatever it is that you need to talk about. Acknowledge spirit, universe, God, why you're doing it. Uh, but stay the fuck away from defensive people. Because like I said, they're going to get mad regardless. Uh, they're going to sit there and watch you regardless here. I'm telling you, I definitely see energy of, of people who are defensive about what you got to say. Running to watch you because they seen that you posted or that you're speaking on something. And just sitting there nitpicking it. Oh, she's fucking crazy. She's so delusional but in all actuality you're speaking the truth they're just triggered okay so yeah i did pick up on names and locations let's get into the locations first so we got milwaukee palm beach miami orlando tampa jacksonville but anywhere in florida so heavy on the florida energy we got los angeles hollywood but anywhere in california we got russellville we got brooklyn we got the bronx we got new york city but anywhere in new york we got Huntsville, we got New Orleans, but anywhere in Louisiana. We got Toronto, but anywhere in Canada. Nashville, but anywhere in Tennessee. St. Louis, Kansas City, but anywhere in Missouri. We got Gainesville, we got Atlanta, we got McIntyre, Georgia, Jackson. Oh, my bad. Gainesville, Atlanta, McIntyre, but anywhere in Georgia, my bad. Um jackson san antonio we got houston dallas but anywhere in texas hawaii detroit montana australia uh chicago norfolk but anywhere in virginia we got australia um i already said that my bad norfolk but anywhere in, uh, in virginia uh south carolina we got boiling springs we got asheville or asheville <laughs> asheville Ash asheville a s h e bill okay we got Seattle, we got Washington, um, D.C., we got Jamaica, and we got anywhere in the U.K., all right? And I did pick up on names as well. So we got first, last, middle name, your name, their name. Uh, I also have initials here, uh, and I also feel like I picked up on quite a few nicknames as well. Uh, but the names do not have to resonate, okay? If they don't resonate, it's fine, all right? Um, so the names I got were Courtney, 
Vaughn, Josh, Jayla, Travis, Angel, or Angel, Xavier, Remy, Fisher. Okay, these are initials or people could go by these names, okay? BK, AW, it's either JU or JU, GG, CJ, CC, as in CC, but somebody's name could be, you know, somebody can go by CC. Um, AJ, DB, like David Buckner, I don't know, <laughs> uh, JS, Coco, I think those are all the little nicknames. We got Pace, Copeland, Ross, Alice, Malika, Daniela, Ruth, Tiffany, D'Angelo, Yahana, um, Reed, Douglas, India, Diana, Maria, Yolanda, Amber, Cooper, Tony, Stevie, Love, Jack, Aubrey, Stone, Hannah, Layla, Moni, Shaw, Sean, Dre, Asia, Angie, Lawrence, Jaslyn, Kenna, Bridget, Olivia, Dom, Gabe, or Gab, my bad, Scarlett, Johnson, um, Holiday, River, Abigail, Tanya, Morgan, Andy, Marv, Caprice, Brianna or Brianna, uh, Chelsea, Cinda, Luca, Brandy, Jordan, Tashawn, Candy, Ellie, Izzy, Abel, Alicia, Stephanie, Polo, like somebody can go by Polo, Katrina, Akia, Isaiah, Susan, Holly, Bianca, Mills, Xander, Nathan, L L Latrell, or Latrell, Shirley, Ty, or Tay, Kiki, Melissa, Landon, Jasmina, Yazzie, Richie, S Smith, Joey, Davey, Nate, Faith, Anderson, Rodriguez, Dixon, Philip, D, Jessica, Alexia, or Alexa, my bad, Rio, I, uh, Aisha, or Aisha, my bad, <laughs> Harris, Chris, Mosey, Danny, Dalia, Jelena, Deja, Raven, Johnson, Laverne, Melly, Charles, Rashad, Sierra. Got the camera tried to cut off, so I feel like these last few names are very significant. So I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, you're gonna be fucked up anyway. <laughs> so Gabriella, Jared, McDaniel, Bethany, Bobby, Alex, Nicole, Shay, Martin. Holly, Julia, Joyce, Tara, Todd, Brown, Lonnie, Samuel, and Carrie. Okay? Yeah, I got all the names out. Anyway, hope it resonates. Love y'all. Bye. Go and take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go and take a little dip. Go and take a little time. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. The cards, the cards, the key clarity. The cards, the cards, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.